Hey there! Welcome back to another episode of Berlincraft. A couple days ago, 1.10 was released, and so today I decided that we'd take a trip into the Mesa to try and find some of the new mine shafts. Now this one sort of broke, and we can also say something else here. The new particles that are here for floating sand. It looks pretty neat. I actually like it. It looks, uh... Very nice, very nice particles, but uh, I wanted to explore some of the mine shaft, and then I want to go back to the island, and then uh, do a little bit of things with bone plots. Oh yes, and one thing at the saloon town, which I almost forgot. So, uh, I actually traveled quite a far distance away, knockback too, eh, I actually traveled quite a far distance away from the saloon town to find this, I had to go to new mesa chunks, and I am just glad that this mesa that we have is massive, this place is massive, it's huge, it goes on forever. Uh, ooh. Ooh, name tag. All right, I'll take that. Activator rails. Eh, maybe if I ever need rails. There's also a cave spider spawner. I think this would be really cool to use. And if like, huh? No. Yeah. Well, skills, skills. We'll, we'll pass that off as skills. I think it'd be really cool to have like an above ground uh, cave spider spawner. I think that'd be really neat to do. Uh, at least for the most part, because you can have it above ground, and uh, they're usually not above ground, so it's a it's a it's a nice exception. You hurt me. You have bad. Um. So yeah, there's nothing much going on here that goes into a cave. All right. Uh, nothing much going on here. Uh, although I know in new chunks of the mesa now, the mesa is now uh, filled to the brim with gold. So maybe if we can go to a mine shaft over here, or maybe in these mountains, and see that the the new mine shafts are just filled to the brim with gold, that would be really neat. And I feel like above ground spawners, uh, at least like starter spawners maybe for uh, the cave spiders, might be... Oh yeah, look, there's some more gold. Sweet. Well, there is, is gold. Sweet. Um, I think above ground spawners might become a little bit more uh, commonplace. Uh, they didn't really become commonplace before. They were never really commonplace because, it, you know, the generation of the spawners never really happened like that. Uh, even when they did, even when you had some uh, ground spawners, like right at the surface, uh, they didn't really uh, do a whole much. Uh, no one really turned them into spawners. But uh, now with cave spider spawners and people making uh, spawners for spiders... Uh, it might become a little bit more commonplace for above ground uh, spawners. Also, Mesa, Mesa, awesome place for gold, honestly. Like, three seconds in here, 21 pieces of gold. Uh, I know in 1.10, uh, 1 uh, if there is... So here, here's the strategy, don't steal it. If I see you stealing it, I'm gonna sue ya. But uh, 1.10, if, if, there, if there's a UHC for 1.10, if people do some UHCs for 1.10, which there will be, uh, and I spawn in a Mesa... I'm booking it straight to the Mesa. No questions asked. I'm coming here uh, instantly for... Ooh, golden apple. Yeah, I'm coming here uh, instantly for some uh, good old loot, some good old gold. Uh, honestly, it, uh, a lot of UHCs will probably tone this down quite a bit, remove like half the gold in the map. Uh, a lot of UHCs do that anyway uh, for reduced ores, but uh, definitely 1.10 vanilla UHC going to come straight to the ravine. Uh, no questions asked. It's just going to be a lot better of a thing. Plus, instead of zero zero being a new battlegrounds with a whole bunch of people fighting and stuff, uh, it's going to become a little bit different. Uh, maybe a mesa will become a battlegrounds because people will be uh, then fighting for new, uh, new gold, new territory. So maybe mesas will become a new battleground, and that is interesting. I don't see many uh, actual fights in in mesas. Talking about UHEs, I don't see uh, don't see a lot of fight going on in mesas. So it might be interesting because I know mesas have the massive mountains in them. They're really nice mountains. So I'm excited to see what it holds for UHC in specifics, uh, along with all the gold. <laughs> the gold is a nice touch, but. Uh, that's enough of me rambling on, uh, along, uh, along, that's enough of me rambling on, jeez, thank you for the English, about the mine shafts. I'm going to see you back at the saloon town. Yeah, definitely, because that's the last part of it. I'm going to see you back at the saloon town. Okay, so we're over here at the saloon town, and last episode I sort of said that uh, something sort of felt wrong with uh, the stables, like it didn't have something, like it needed something, like it was missing something, sort of like that. And I thought 
like, you know, it needs a little bit more detail. Um, and someone actually came ahead and, you know, told me, uh, they're like, well, I think, uh, some coarse dirt would, uh, fit right in there. It's a little bit of coarse dirt, or just cor coarse dirt for the entire stable. And I actually quite agree. I think, uh, maybe it will do, a, like, a whole bunch of coarse dirt around. I feel like, uh, it's definitely something that it did need. Like, uh, a whole bunch of coarse dirt might look a lot better than just some plain old boring clay. Oops, uh, move force, thank you. Uh, it might look a little bit better than some plain old boring clay, that's for sure. Uh, definitely, if we're just looking at it like now, it's already looking quite a little bit better. Uh, possibly needed something under here. Uh, maybe we'll add a little bit of spruce or something there. But other than that, once we finish this up, uh, let's just make that coarse dirt. Let's just make everything else that we need to fill up sort of coarse dirt. Boop, 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 boop. And... Let's take a look at that. Yeah, definitely needed some coarse dirt. Now maybe if we have ourselves um, a little bit of spruce. If we do, yep, we do. Now let's sleep quickly. Let's uh, come right here, right along the edge, and also fill this up. I keep breaking the uh, cauldrons by accident. Let's fill this up with spruce. How does that look? That looks better. It, it uh, keeps it in together and it makes sense as to why there's a little bit of dirt in there. Like maybe they placed it in there uh, through through the course or just like uh, a little layer of dirt that uh, has accumulated in there over time. Since uh, so many horses, the dirty, dirty horses, uh, come in and use it and uh, their hooves have a whole bunch of dirt on them. So that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Boom. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks... Uh, a little bit better now. It definitely looks a, a bit better to me. Uh, just a little bit more containment for the area definitely is what it needed. So let's just check that. Yeah, yeah, definitely looks uh, looks better to me in here now. Definitely looks a whole lot better. All right, so that's all that there was at the saloon town. See you back at the mushroom town, mushroom place. All right, so we're just here down at the skeleton farm. I just made a whole bunch of bone blocks. Honestly, one of the best additions to Minecraft 1.10. I've been looking forward to bone blocks uh, ever since they were announced. Uh, since they were announced, I just kept looking at them and just thinking, it's like, oh, yes, this is going to be great. Uh, they're going to go so well with everything. I already have ideas for them. And there's a couple other blocks that I am going to experiment with. But for today, I thought we would go around. And previously, we made these nice little mushrooms, these some sweet little mushrooms that uh, do their own little mushroom thing. Uh, these sweet little mushrooms that do their own mushroom thing, and that's about that. And we used quartz for them, and I want to see how the bone block works for them instead, and how close it looks to the actual mushroom stem. Looks very close to the actual mushroom stem. So maybe that compared to that... Hmm. This is definitely closer to the color... But this is definitely more closer to the texture. So definitely, uh, the bone blocks are the prime choice for right now. So all of the mushrooms that we had custom placed before, like this one, and a uh, couple other ones, like over here and such, uh, I'm definitely going to go around and replace the bone blocks underneath them. I think they look a bit better than the quartz. The quartz just had a little bit of a weirder texture. These definitely fit the mushrooms a little bit more. And... Uh, I, I certainly wish that uh, you could get stem blocks, because if you could get stem blocks, I remember these stem blocks, because they were white and like that, they were definitely a uh, fan favorite building block a long time ago, and I think the bone block is one of the best answers they could have done for that. Um, the bone block just looks like the mushroom block, it looks like a smoother version of quartz, it's a nice white block, but, uh, you know, just in case any devs are watching. We need more black blocks. We don't have enough black blocks. We have obsidian, which is like an ugly purple. We have coal blocks, which... Coal blocks are alright, but they're so, like, hard to find. Or, well, not hard to find, but, like, they just take so much resources to actually do and make. And, oh, it just, it gets annoying. So, we need more black blocks. We have, you know, colored blocks. We have enough colored blocks. We just need more uh, white and black blocks. I'd love a little bit more white and black blocks with, like, a little bit more texture and stuff. And also, just for fun, I made this house with wool. But I want to see what it's going to look like with bone blocks. And maybe if it looks better, or maybe if they cla if they go together well, do we have any wool? There might be some wool in these chests. 
Uh, I definitely want to see how close the textures are. So if we just go like that, those, definitely a different shade of white, but definitely they could go together very, very well. Um, so since we have the skeleton farm here and the bone blocks are ridiculously easy to make and get, we might be switching over from wool as the main building block. I need a pair of shears as the one of the main building blocks to bone blocks now the only problem that i have is that a custom one this was a custom one i walked right by it i am so convincing at building i convinced myself that it was an actual mushroom um definitely uh maybe change it over the only problem with bone blocks is if we just stack it up right here and then walk away you can clearly see some lines so maybe if there was a texture pack that added a little bit of connected textures or they sort of dimmed or they sort of undimmed the sides of the blocks so it uh it repeats nicely but it doesn't clash nicely like that uh definitely would use it a lot more but i just want to experiment today with changing the house into the um bone blocks also um Sheriff's office still working on that. I got projects in or sheriff's office a prison sheriff's office thing uh, Still working on a whole bunch of stuff a lot of stuff that I'm uh, currently building or have plans to build in the world are, are put on some sort of burner and Currently the sheriff's office and something else something I am sort of Thinking about at least at the very least I'm thinking about is on the back burner and that won't be revealed until I actually get around to it and show it now I like that that looks nice that goes well with spruce Let's maybe try these walls here and then we can get a good look at it at the corner properly and then assess and then assess if we want to do the rest of the building in the bone blocks just get a nice assessment of what the color and texture feels like and then we can work off from there so let's just fill that up all nice and then these boom 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 and let's go get a nice view of the house and assess and assess what we our thoughts are on this so hmm you know what from here I can't really notice the lines and it looks like a, it looks a lot smoother than the white I definitely like the I love the bone blocks the bone blocks definitely work better with the wool in this case it looks nicer it looks smoother it looks more like a wall texture than something weirdly thrown in I like it I like it I like it I like it so you know what now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this building now of course there's still uh, there are still things that's going to be made with wool primarily i'm not going to change the white house into all bone blocks that would be silly and i'm not going to change the windmill into all bone blocks because again that would be silly we already used enough wool on it and we don't need to change it into something else so if we just come down here i want to show you guys and then i'll come back and do the rest of this off camera for a second um definitely a lot of this is made with the bone blocks and that's a lot of bone blocks to get uh in general not just for the project in general that's a lot of bone blocks to get now of course the windmill wouldn't be changed but if we were to change it i would change all of the wool that's a lot of wool in the first place and that's a lot of stuff to do plus i like the look of the wool on this from far away it still looks pretty good so i'm not going to change this i'm not going to change the uh lighthouse because again that's just way too much wool but the house most certainly i like the look of the house like even from here clear difference between the bone and the wool and i certainly like the bone just a little bit more than the actual wool for the texture it looks nice so maybe um maybe if we can come over here and get a nice angle at it yeah, definitely like the bone a lot more. All right, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to change the rest of the house into bone and then figure out what to do for the rest of the episode. So be right back. All right, so we're going to take a quick look at this while I end the episode because I figured, well, I don't really have much else to do this episode. I don't really have anything else to do and anything else to do would take a whole nother episode to do. So uh, we did a little bit. We explored a little bit of 1.10. I definitely ex plan on exploring more of 1.10. Uh, maybe not a whole episode, uh, but, you know, just a little bit more exploring of the foundations of 1.10, what they added. I'm looking forward to the little bit of the nether blocks. Those might be interesting to look at. But from the wool to the bone block, that's placed sideways and that bothers me. It bothers me very much so. Come here. 
from the wool to the bone block definitely a much better improvement i like the look of it it fits better with how the house looks uh the the stone bricks a sort of smoother texture this is a nice darker color to contrast plus the bone block another smooth texture slash color i like it i really really like it it looks better than the wool in my opinion so definitely if i had uh the palette still up the palette for the uh houses and stuff which i had here I had here somewhere, I had a whole palette for the village, and that was what we were going to use and just base off of, but uh, if I still had that up, I would definitely place the bone block on there, but, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Sorry it was pretty short, um, but I, I just wanted to do a little bit of exploring things, uh, see what 1.9 is about, play, uh, play and mess around with the bone blocks. I absolutely love the bone blocks. I can't wait to do more with them, honestly. I can't wait to make the entire town out of bone blocks. Uh, forget the wood, forget the stone bricks, all, all, all bone blocks, all of it. B bone block stairs, we need those right now, Jeb. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. get on it, jeez. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Remember, stay fancy. Peace out. Oh, bye-bye.